Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tofin at the Babbling Belgian, and this is The Last of Us Part 2. I am already going to move, because otherwise we're going to die. Um, um, so we're right next to the smoke bloom. Okay, so he's here. They found it. Should we go help? No. She's here. Hold your ground. Okay, so they are making a difference here between us. Thank you, oh. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, yeah, okay, I'm dead. I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna be dead. Ah, that shit. And I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna be dead. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. Welcome to today's episode where we get mauled by a dog. Thank, thank you for that, so probably not go in the direction of the door, got it. So... <laughs> that was an amazing start of the game. Um, so let's just try and kill these two. Before. So they're moving forward. No, no. No, no. Well, she's gonna drop something in a second. Because I'm going to murder her ass. Hey, oh, what? What? I didn't even get... Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's one woman over here. And she clearly knows where I am. Because last time I tried to go... Should we go help? To the other side of the... Uh, the barricade here. And now she knows I'm over there. So she kind of has... An idea of where I am, so there we go. Got our throat. Because this time I'm not gonna die. Um, so the dog is moving around there. Where is that woman? Oh, shit. Um, I don't have a silencer for this, but. Laura! Oh, no, what? Here, here! Oh, how? How? Ambush. So there's one over it there. Over there. No, it didn't. It most definitely Who the didn't. Fuck's out Let's. There? Look everywhere, go! And scrab and stab. Quiet. There we go. That was a, a bit of a gruesome close up there. Okay. So now we got over here. That one woman is over here. Can she open up the door or not? She's inside the house, but I don't seem to have a way of going inside of here now. Got you now. Okay. There we go. Ooh. I think I removed part of her face. That was... Yeah, I definitely removed part of her face. Damn, that was, that was a bit a bit gruesome now, wasn't it? Uh, seems like we're done for now. I should probably swap over to the revolver, because the revolver does more damage. And I have more ammo for it as well, so... Kind of makes sense. So we need to work our way towards that smoke bloom, which seems to be further away now, which is... Kind of weird. Let's just scrounge around a little bit. Uh, I still have the bottle, so that's fine. So let's just keep going with the revolver. And grab the supplies we can grab along the way. Seems like there are a lot of supplies though. Because I get like three quarters of a, a bit of resources every time. I know there's a crowbar in the back if I want to replace my melee weapon. Oh, and there we go. Another truck arrives and drives around. I don't know if I need to actually hurry to get to Tommy. Doesn't seem like the game is pointing me towards that direction. I'm slowly going to move up. I don't want to risk getting shot or mauled again. That's, that's, no, that's no good. Okay. Next area. There we go. There's one over there. Nothing yet. What the fuck is going on with these trespassers? Oh, okay. Don't take any chances. Oh, come on. There goes the door. Are you? Can I? Can you hit him? Can you? Okay. Come on, throw the bubble, you fuck. Ah. Oh. There we go. Fuck. That was 
Not good. There is one more, right? There was one shooting in the back. There we go. Shoulder face off. Let's reload that while we're lying down here. And that's at least another one down. Seems like the music is calming down a little bit. A bit more ammo and crafting materials and just hauling ass right now because I feel like this area is pretty clear. Let's grab all the resources we can get. I don't know, crafting wise... Okay, we're two on, two, we're two on everything, that's good. Means I still have the space for more. I mean, they're trying to hurry me along, but I'm going to be careful here. So let's go down. And this seems to be... Well, it doesn't have grass over here. Over here. Oh, wow. Slowly around the corner. There we go. Okay. So two shots with the revolver is enough now because of the, uh, the extra damage that we do. But... We're slowly losing all of our ammo. Ah, crap. Ooh. Okay. So there's three guys over here. Oh, there we go. So if you dodge, if you dodge at the right time, you can actually kill them easily. So he's hiding over there. Wow, that was actually cool. So if you dodge at the right time on melee attackers, you can actually just kill them in one go. Just get the bottle ready. I'm just gonna swap shoulders here. Can you please? I, I hate that the shoulder doesn't stay swapped. I think I can move around. There we go. Um, axe. Axe in the sides. There we go. There we go, slowly die, you asshole. Okay, that's all of them. That's all of them. They can care of pretty efficiently with just melee weapons. And there's another baseball bat, but the axe is way better than the baseball bat. I'm glad I didn't get hit with that, because an axe to the face would have probably hurt. I'm assuming on this difficulty there might have been half my health bar. Uh, you know what, I think we're, yeah, we're full on the rags and alcohol, so let's craft another med kit. And then move along slowly. So they came from upstairs. They probably know that I'm still here. Let's grab the brick. You know what? No, let's grab the revolver so we can actually shoot somebody if you want to. This music is really tense. But it's, I'm starting to, to click with the combat as well. So I'm alternating between gunfire. Yeah, she got shot in the face. So are there more? Oh, she got... <laughs> I love that. She just trespassing in. Face gone. Face gone. Nothing over here. I hear a lot of dogs, by the way. That's also not good, probably. And a lot of yelling. How many WL efforts are there? It sounds like I'm making. I'm, I'm using insults. Um, I think I'm, I might be able to use one of those bombs now. Because, uh. How? How do you got me surrounded? So they're on the other side of the wall. I saw them passing there, but for now... We seem to be fine. Okay. Okay, and that's the smoke. That's the uh, original explosion. There is a hallway to the left. Yeah, there we go. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. I'm assuming. What the hell are you doing here? Ah, oh, Jesse. I think I'd let you do this on your own. Holy Jessie. crap. Where's Dina? She's safe. Uh, and pregnant. She's just sick. No, no, pregnant. Um, the pregnant fine. kind. I mean, the pregnant is your the father. Christ, there's Probably. A lot Most likely. Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? He sounds like he's hurt. How hurt are you? I'll be okay. Your friends out there rushed me. No warning, no nothing. Tell me you didn't come alone. Give me shit about it later. 
How the hell did he even get Fucking here? Idiot. You know that, right? Yeah. I feel like everybody from Jackson are uh, superheroes. Everybody's a superhero. That's your plan. We need to get some distance. Okay. You ready? Uh, no. I want I want to scrounge this building if I can. Oh. How we searching for? Trespasser. I got the one on the left. This shit again. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. I need to craft the silencer. Try that house. Yeah. There we go. That's down with the silencer. You see anything? Can you hear me? Kira? No, they can't. Quit fucking around. Okay, so I'm going around the wall. Oh, Jesus, Jesse. Kira? I might be able to actually. They're pretty close yeah. together. There we go. That's one. And that's two. There we go. And that's them down. So I think if I now I can crop. There we go. Let's go. Oh, you got the keys. Let's go. Okay. Can we? Can we use? Get it. Yeah. Okay. For fuck's sake. I mean, I thought that was gonna okay. drive, but apparently not. Oh, this isn't good. That's one Jesse, down. Get us the fuck out of here. I'll drive. Do I have unlimited ammo all of a sudden? I think I have. There we go. Jesus. Wow, my aim was Watch pretty out. good there, if I can say so myself. Oh, ooh. Um, well, go, go. bye. Ooh. Damn. Um. Um, uh, this is this ain't so shit. This is something. That's one down, and then yeah, it's cheap. There we go, and then the driver. There we go. Reload, Ellie. Reload. There's a lot of diary there. Are there explosive barrels in the- Okay. Well, that ended badly. We need, we need to get out. Can I aim? Oh, that's, that's also not good. Um, yeah, there's, there's too many of them. Okay, hi, hi. Ooh, there goes the door. That's not going to be good either. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing. Ooh, back click it, back click it. There we go. Wow. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was something. Um, moving out, moving out, slowly. There we go. Okay, let's just go up. There we go. Holy shit. Saved by the infected. You think? Wow, um, I'm kind of shaking from that. That was uh, an action set piece. Whew. This way. There were a lot of sensor, sensory uh, prickles there. That was whew. And then we go back to the theater. Dina. Oh, this isn't good, is it? Uh, is she alive? She is, okay. She is. 
We've got, we brought a friend. Oh my God. Jesse. Hey, Dina. Oh, hey. You okay? Nothing little sleep won't take care of. We should get inside. Yeah, okay, come on. Easy. How'd you get past Maria? I had to sneak out. <laughs> my friends' problems are my problems. Yeah. I heard you're sick. Oh, it's, it's just a stomach thing. Come on, let's sit you down, huh? You don't need to do that. Oh, shut up. So when'd you leave Jackson? Day after you. There was bad snow when I crossed into Oregon. I've been doing 18 hour stretches for the past two weeks trying to catch you. Oh. Ali is not happy with the uh, love triangle. Tommy. Oh, we got another flashback. Okay. With me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Anyway. Two years earlier. Silent treatment. Man, I mean, I forget my own birthday if she didn't remind me when it was. <laughs> you should just apologize to her. I just said. Okay. What's going on? I'm writing <laughs> stuff down in my journal. I can tell when you're off. So uh, I feel like Dina's avoiding me. Cat says, "You let me know if you want to talk about it." Okay, can I can I read okay. Tommy, please? Cat says she's just jealous about how I'm spending my time. I keep trying to invite Dina along, but she keeps saying she's busy. Perched on an outcropping, you trace constellations in the sky. I trace the ink on your skin that covers the scars, the burns, the decorating the darkness, decorating the darkness. I think. Yeah, decorating the darkness like stars. It smells like wet leaves and firewood out here. And usually, we get... Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Some backstory on the tattoos. So I've just had the worst best day of my life. Cat was, was finishing another session on my arm and then climbed on top of me and kissed me. I threw it off me. I yelled at her. I thought I infected her. I mean, I'm infected, sort of. I don't know how the fuck this shit transfers. What if she turns? What would I tell people? She's got family. I told her we should take a walk. I lied and said I'd never kissed anyone and that I was just nervous. She was actually sweet about my freak out. We spent the day walking and talking and then she came to my place for a movie. She fell asleep. I stayed up all night watching her, looking for signs of infection. Next morning she was fine. Nothing. I'm not contagious and Cat likes me. What a fucking roller coaster. Cat's the fucking best, that is all. So on patrol yesterday, uh, today, Jessie told me Kat referred to me as her girlfriend. She's so open about everything. She talks to her mom about us, she held my hand when we were all out at the lake and kissed me in front of our friends. Everyone seems to know except for Joel. Should I tell him? I don't know. I don't know how he'd react. So there's a, another, um, well, lover for Ellie. That was uh, in her uh, history there. So Kat, before she uh, went together with Dina at the beginning of this game. And that is nice. Got stragglers. How many? Just a handful. I see like two from here. Is he gonna... Ooh, are we gonna see that from here? Wow, that was a... That's a large cloud that came out of that. I don't see the third one. No, there's two of them. You want he's give it a, a whirl? Wow, he's a good shot, by the way. Are you Let's sure? Let's try it out as well. I'm feeling generous. <laughs> we haven't scoped the long rifle just yet, so that's probably what we'll, uh, we're working towards. So, aim. And then, X. Red one? Try hitting that. Good way to draw them out of wherever they're hiding. There we go. Aim this. Leave the bullet room to drop. Ah. I see. That was just there on the bottom go. there. So they're coming Sounds out. Attracting them. Well, we are on patrol. Let's clear them. Oh, that was a mess. Make sure I am. Compensate for the bullet drop. 
Bullets drop, but they're moving. They're, they're, I mean, they're all moving. So even if I compensate for bullet drop. See a few more. There we go. Gotcha. There we go. Um, oh. There we go. That's all of them. Usually more over this way if you want to keep shooting. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Do I need to reload this thing? From? Hordes like to move through this area in winter. They always end up leaving behind a few stragglers. They do the same routes every year? Like a migration or something. Hmm. What's that about? Well, when the barometric pressure reaches a certain temperature... St shit, I don't fucking know. Okay, that was ridiculous. Yeah, shit. Looks like they're moving down the hill. Why? Hmm. Oh, he went into the shed. Uh, dead animal. By the truck. They're munching on that deer there. Guess they're By the hungry. truck. By the truck? Ah, there. They're munching on a deer. There he goes. Two still. That's one. And then the other one went into that shed, so I can't really shoot at him. Unless they're also by the truck. So that's the deer. They're moving downhill, he said, but I don't really see them anymore. Oh no, the other one. Ah, he popped back out of the shed. There he is. There we go. Looks clear. Bet there's some this way. So what's the logic behind that? There's something by the ski lifts? Look way out there. Under those gondolas. By that tower. You see it? Yup. We do. So now they're a lot further away, so I think... Oof. <sighs> that was it. Ooh, there goes his what leg. You think? A couple more out there. So, I think I'm. I need to aim with the uh, the bottom one. There we go. You really get me. Ah, he just stopped. Oh, come on. There we go. Need to lead the well shoulder done. a little bit. I think that was I'm it, not right? It anymore. Yeah, me neither. All right. Let's head in. See if Joel's back. Sure. So the migration thing is a bit weird. We still don't know a lot about the infected themselves, how they work. And are over. Hey, thanks for that. It's just what I needed. Sure. Ladies first. Because the, the migration seemed to make them look I'm not like animals. To say anything. But Joel's worried about you. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure there isn't. But if you don't talk to him, he's gonna think something's wrong. I talk to him. Well, you have to do more than hi and bye. <sighs> okay, I will try. Oh, Shimmer. I love you, Sim Shimmer. I'm I'm so sad that you died. You got a blown up belly. That was that was bad. Okay, let's go in here. Ooh, this looks nice. That was y'all shooting up there, right? Oh, just some stragglers. Ellie got to try out my scope. How'd you like it? Yeah, feels good. Oh. I see you've, uh... You haven't gotten around to changing the string yet. I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you'll, uh... We'll get you some new ones. <clears throat> well, there's that music store down there. I bet they got guitar stuff. I mean, that area's long overdue for a sweep anyway. I can keep watch. What do you say, kiddo? Sure. And that's our cue. For a second there, that sounded more like Troy Baker than Joel. Because <laughs> uh, I kind of, I think he kind of forgot his uh, rough and gruff uh, Are you sure accent. you don't want to come? Get on now. 
He's weak. Okay. Do I need to scrunch? Because this place is pretty big, by the way. And I know they like hiding those trading cards around, so I'm just gonna take a little look. Ooh. That doesn't smell too bad. Okay, no response from uh, the brothers. Okay, let's grab, go outside the bar. There we go. We can grab a, a bit of uh, resources already. Um, this looks, yeah, it's kind of like a ski lodge. Which just is pretty out, cool. I'm just making sure I have everything. There we go, pistol bullets. It's very important to scrounge around, Tommy. Don't don't tell me otherwise. And there might even be some, some really cool trading cards around here. And if I miss that, I need to do the entire game again if I wanna, you know. You don't need any stress. Just fine, mate. Yeah, it sounds beautiful. There we go, bottle. What am I, what's my weapon loadout? So pistol and uh, long rifle, okay. So another bottle over there. I wonder how many lines Tommy has for me just uh, waiting around here. And then this. Coming? Yeah? Savage hey, what's Starlight. what's Savage Starlight doing here? Pretty sure that's Joel's. Hmm. Okay. Daniela and Captain Ryan have been thrown into the arena where the hungry eyes of the travelers watch as they force they are forced to fight to the death. Will she put aside her feelings for the captain to fight for her own survival? And it's from Dark Horse Comics. It's actually really cute. Because uh, they often make like art books and stuff for Naughty Dog as well. And one more bullet before we go. And that should probably be it. Unless I never checked behind the counter here. Quickly do that, but there doesn't seem to be anything here. Okay, Joel, I'm coming. You left your backpack okay. here for some reason. Let's go. It's hey. Tommy's one. On me, kiddo. Okay, so on the horse. Yeah, okay. Go back on so, Shimmer. You and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Uh, you know, found two runners in a house. They are Jesse so casual me about all of this. Quite well on the group patrols. He's even recommending you for paired patrols. Oh, well, I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them, and I have more experience than most of the new recruits Look, who've. Look, you think you're ready? I trust you. Okay. Thanks. You just do me a favor and start with the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. Hey, you remember those, uh, Savage Starlight comic books that you're into? Yeah. Tommy and I found some when we were moving through at school the other day. Did you like them? Well, you know what? It's not really my cup of tea, but... Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty... She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match... Woo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he definitely deserved it, but... That was a nice twist how they escaped, though. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. So I do think it's still a little bit weird that the um, the people from Jackson are so Here's nice to one another compared to all the older uh, compared to all the older uh, settlements that we've seen so far. Hey, Shimmer. Because they're really me. nice to newcomers as well. Which is a very atypical. Kind of makes them seem like the good guys. A music store. While uh, yeah, I see it. You know, it's a bit more morally gray on all of accounts here. Sheriff car. That is a really big. I got uh, it. Not, not really. I think just just climb over it. There we go. Um, uh, but how are we gonna I don't get? Think we can go this way. What? I mean, you can climb now, right? Damn. Used to be able to swim across there. Okay, so now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting through that hotel. I'm up for it. Okay, it sounds... I hear weird noises coming from the hotel through the front of the hotel then. It's really weird to have these kind of sections in between because your resources are completely separate. Because uh, I have, what does it, 12 bullets? 13 bullets? And two long rifle bullets. 
should probably load that in. There we go, before we go in. Not that I usually use the long rifle indoors, but there we go. Let's open that up. Damn it. Um, oh, that might be something. What, what might be something? You think you can fit in there? Well, it's uh, worth a shot. Probably. Careful. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. How the hell did he spot that hole? I'm through. Hold on. All right. There's probably infected around here, I suppose. Uh, some bottle on the floor and some rags on the bed. I mean, again, the entire bed is rags, right? That doesn't make any sense. But a lot more over here, so we're almost down to another uh, bit. Looking. We can probably just open up the door so we can let Joel in. Let's open that up. There we go. Lock at the top. And uh, we can open well, that hello. up. Hello. Honey. You impressed? Nope. You're just too skinny. You need to eat more. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Ah. Uh, okay. I kind of miss Joel a little bit. Fine. I can't admit that much. Hello? Any people around here? People that are still alive? There's a help kit here, that's always nice. Just in case we get roughed up a little bit too much over here. I don't know if there's going to be combat. There wasn't combat in the previous one. There's another bullet over there, even though Joel is uh, trying to get this my place attention. Me the creeps. Just shaking the controller preemptively, but I don't think that actually works. I think I see a way through, but we got spores. Put your mask on. <sighs> Do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. I love that though. Just the relationship these two have. It's really sad that we don't get to see more of it. Although I do like the, these bits as well. But you gotta uh, be smart about this. You stop wearing that mask, kiddo, and eventually you're gonna slip up in front of someone you shouldn't. I've never slipped. You ain't told nobody new, have you? Not Jesse or Dina. Or... Of course not. Okay, good. Or Cat in this case, because it's weird that they don't reference Cat here, because Cat is clearly her new girlfriend. Because Dina only comes you later. Been here before? And yep, there's the sports uh, horse. You just patrol the streets. Feeling like a bit of an oversight now. Maybe. Yeah, indeed. Um, so there's another bathroom with bullets. A lot of bullets, by the way. Love how the, the resources are like a little bit more generous in this place. Um, but if there's spores, there's probably gonna be infected as well. There's another bullet over here. So definitely plenty of ammo. Aha, and in the shower here, there's actually a metal pipe. Which is, of course, better, and there's rags and ammo. Come on, there's ammo, I can, I can see. There's literally, there's literally a bullet over here. Come on. Give me that. Okay, the game doesn't want me to have that. Fine, fine. I have 16 bullets, that might be the maximum as well, but it's not showing me as, uh, showing it as full. So, that, that might just be an oversight. Hi, Joel. Like it was shot a while back. When did the last patrol go through here? I'm not sure. Is it one of us? Nah. Only people went missing from Jackson and them teenagers from last year. I just roamed in. Those teenagers last year, so. And they, he's this actually way. talking about being. people being disappearing. That's also a bit weird, but. There we go. Right next to the elevator, there's another brick here. Come here. Are there? Ooh, yes. Joel, there's like a lot of them. They are on patrol, right? Okay. Um. Let's take them out. How? Exactly. So he's gonna grab. <laughs> He's gonna grab the clicker. I think one of them went over here. Come 
Ah, there we go. And stab. With the old animation, of course, because this version of Ali does not have the quicker stealth kills yet. Ooh, there's actually a lot of them. I think I can grab this guy without a problem. And there, Joel takes that one. That, damn it. There she goes. Okay. I think we're a little bit quicker, so I think that one guy might actually not notice us this time. So the clicker is still doing its rounds, but I think we can now wait until this guy comes around. Or this woman. Whatever she was before. And then we can take her out in the back, I think. Like this. I should probably turn the camera around slightly so we know what we're dealing with. I think he's gonna spot me, probably. No, he didn't. Okay. So now we're just dealing with the clicker and... the runner. There we go. And maybe Joel can grab the clicker? No, he's not going to. He's not going to. Okay, fair enough. So I think it's the only one left. Well, it's the only one left. So if we just slowly move to its back. She's going to click in that direction. And we can just go for it. There we go. That was a lot cleaner. There we go. Okay, that's all I think. I think. Can we can we get confirmation? Yeah. Okay, Joel is standing up, so that's Joel, that's enough of a confirmation. I think for we me. did it. So. Let's make another Molotov. Good job, you. Thank you. Yeah, you too. So, what do you say we give up on those strings for today? Could have said it better myself. Ooh. I think our only way out is forward now. Baseball bat, but indeed, we're, we've already come this far, might as well. So yeah, pistol bullets were full on that. That's only 16. But again, really stupid that the, there's an ammo limit on certain weapons, especially pistols. Or even just the, the I think it's 6 on the, 9 on the long rifle, which is a bit, a bit silly, isn't it? So Joel is standing at the door that we need to go through, so let's... Look through that. Seems like that door is actually pretty rusted stuck. So we're moving through the hotel it this looks way. Like it might then. Be something. Ooh, you. That looks very claustrophobic. That does not look like something I want to do. This is a bad idea. I'm telling you now, this is a bad idea. I know both of these have plot armor right now, so they technically can die. But the good thing about the game is that, of course, you can die. Do I need to, do I need to crouch or does she do that? Yeah, she does that automatically. Oh, crap! Uh, bloated! 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 Molotov! Molotov! There we go. Um, let's grab that. Oh, wow. Um. Oh, he's gonna throw something! Oh, I love... Ooh, it just goes through. Nope. Oh, I can't see. I got hit by something. Oh no, that went over. That went over. That went over. Oh wow, holy crap. Jesus. Oh, I, I kind of dodged it, but no. Not perfectly. Not perfectly. Not perfectly. Can I? 
Oh, he's just go. Ah, oh, that's not good. Yeah, okay, he's gonna open my face up. Yeah, that's not a good animation. Wow, what the actual fucking hell? <laughs> he was gonna rip. Was that scripted? Sure. But we fucking did it. I don't think you were supposed to win that. You know, than being really old. You just went after me. I want to get out of here. So, um, that was a great introduction to the bloater, by the way. <laughs> just the shaking of the walls indicating that he was coming. Wow. Okay. Um, so we kind of beat the Hulk, but I think I was supposed to lose that, right? Because he just started charging towards me. And I don't think I would have been able to kill him that way. I'm just gonna heal up because I have a f What are you doing? Good question. There's like two bloaters back there. Uh, no. It, it wouldn't be Joel. Because then, I mean, I like my face. I, I, li I like my face it's in one clear. piece. I almost lost half of my face. Because I was gonna pull it open. Quite the fight back there, huh? Ooh. Not often we get a bloater around these parts. Yeah. Which makes sense because bloaters are the final part of the evolutionary stage, so Jesse and Dean are gonna lose their All bloaters would have been dead. This. Let's deal with them too anyway. Good day, right? Uh on and off. Why? I hear the way Jesse talks about you. No, Jesse and I are just friends. <laughs> no, 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 I've got a pretty keen eye for these sort of things. Not so keen with this one. No, indeed. See. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Indeed, because of course, um, Ali is not going to be into Jesse for the obvious reasons. That don't need too much highlighting, so let's continue through the gym. Again, mirrors. I like, I like functional mirrors in, in video games. I don't feel like we should be running through all of this. I, I can still gather resources, which is cool and all. I should make another another Molotov cocktail because those those really came in handy. I think they weakened them pretty pretty well there. I'm just gonna just gonna grab the, the long rifle, the bolt action rifle. Some more bullets over here. I do get more ammo, which if this was running at its end, I would think I wouldn't be getting any more ammo. But again, the, the last section like this, the last flashback section, basically the same thing. They gave you resources that you uh, never used because there wasn't even any combat in that previous section, the Space Museum. So, okay. We're growing alley, that is fine. But it, this time, okay, fair, you introduced the bloater in, this, uh, in the flashback and not in the game itself. You think you can squeeze through there? Uh, yep. Yep. Can't you push it just a little bit further so we don't need to squeeze? Ah. Okay, so there's a bit of furniture in the way. Yeah. There we go. This is a cutscene. Okay. I don't need to press any buttons anymore. I would love to be able to do that. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, Joel. Huh? I think it's them. A couple that ran away last year. Oh yeah, because of the J on their backpack. You're right. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're going to end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Love Adam and Sydney. 
there's something on the back there. And one of them was still alive. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. There we go. Adam. Jesus. If only they were immune, right? <clears throat> well, let's... Let's go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital, you said there were dozens of people like me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I could be hiding it. You do. Do you believe that? Is now really the time for this? We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just uh, would have given them more time, they could have figured uh, something out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? Good. Come on. So you're gonna grab the clicker corpse? I love how they how we called it a cure this time and not a vaccine like we were told in the previous game, because the previous game was kind of wrong on that. You can't make a vaccine for a fungal infection. We can't do that now, so I would assume that the fireflies... Oh, God, that is horrifying. Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you tell him? It wasn't the right time. There you go. Uh, I, I would make a note in that, because that's, that's just going to tear Anything up. Anything worthwhile? Okay, never mind. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh... Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora, her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Like, at least just wait for Jessie to rest up. She could be gone by then. Helly. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? Yep. 
Of course there's something, she's pregnant and he haven't said a word to her. Not a useful word anyway. An emotional word. Right. Okay, and it started For raining again. Five. That should take me to the hospital. Okay. Wow, okay. This is a, a pretty big area to start. Oh, five. Yeah, I thought it. Down, Nora. I thought it. Tell me where Abby is. Oh yeah, so we're right outside of the theater now. That actually kind of makes sense. I'm just gonna check this way, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, nothing else in this uh, wide open starting area, so we can just move up and see what else is here. I'm gonna. I'm assuming we're gonna be facing the scars sooner rather than later now, because uh, we haven't seen any of them so far, and we've heard a lot of mentions about them. But nothing too concrete. This seems to be empty as well, so let's go through the turnstile. And pushy, 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 pushy. That made a lot of noise. Okay. I'm gonna be, I mean, calm about this in uh, the first few parts, because I don't think there should be any infected or uh, uh, WLF nearby. Because otherwise they would have checked out the theater, I suppose. You gotta get through. I just, I, yeah, I just need to climb over, right? And then there's nothing over here. So this is pretty, pretty linear so far. That's a wide open store again. Oh, there we go. More canisters, more resources. Always nice. You can use that later on to make another bomb. Because I did use one of the stun bombs at the end of uh, the last section with this version of Ali. So I think, yeah, we're down on resources, but basically everything else we've got a lot of. So that's good. That's actually really good. And we find another playing card. There's actually another one right there, but Randy Styles. That is interesting. So brains and brawn. No affiliation. I feel like almost none of these cards have an affiliation, which is uh, weird. So no heroes and no villains. Maybe that's on purpose, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe, ooh, a, a shotgun. Seriously, eight shells is everything I can use on the shotgun. That's, that's too bad. I'm actually not pressed for ammo, which is cool, I suppose. Okay, uh, progress. Progress indeed. Um, I still have a silencer. Probably one more shot with the silencer because I already used to. And I. No, wait a second. I have five shots in the silencers right now because of the upgrade I bought. So I think maybe the long rifle as a start should be nice. These are wide open areas for now. So as long as I can keep an eye out on the rest of the road, the long rifle is going to help me out there. And more shotguns. Fuck. Oh. Sake, so that's two shotgun bullets I can't carry along with me. I wonder if there are ammo upgrades, by the way. Not in the... In these skill trees. Uh, it's just range and craft more arrows. So yeah, nothing really interesting towards ammo capacity. Because that is... I never thought that was going to be a problem, but it really is. Oh. Um, how many are there? I mean, I could just... Um, that might not have been my best... My best idea. Hi. There he goes. Are they coming out? Oh, they actually are. Oh, uh, um, might have made a, a bit of a mistake here. And there we go with the axe. That might have been a bit too enthusiastic, but on the flip side, I can actually I can actually grab that 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 shotgun shell over here now. <laughs> you know, so silver linings, uh, and actually that other shotgun shell as well. So I did that kind of on purpose. Yes, I'm a I'm a an efficiency whore because. Uh, I really want to make the most out of my resources, so let's grab the shotgun from behind the counter here and get on our way. One of the infected actually dropped a letter, so let's check that out. Oh, no, no, that's that's the wrong button. 
That's the wrong button. W left target list. So, square. Woods, here's the list of deserters. Chi So Huan, Andre Dominguez, Chris Marsh, and Adam Peters. We know some of the supplies they stole contained weapons. Be careful. While it's preferable to capture them alive, do not risk your lives. Any sign of danger, you have my permission to take them out. If they wanted to leave, we could have worked something out, but desertion combined with stealing cannot be tolerated. We need to make an example here. May your survival be long, may your death be swift. Good luck, Isaac. So from uh, Isaac himself, that is interesting. Um, there's also a bit of explosive material over here, but I'm full up on it. And I uh, might as well craft another one. I'm out of canisters then, which is a bit sad, but there we go, more explosive stuff. Um, and let's keep the rifle for now. No, no, let's keep the revolver. Or even the pistol. The pistol has a silencer, so... Wait, I still have... Wait a second. Like, oh, I need to attach my silencer manually, so I have four shots on the silencer now. Apparently my second shot wasn't silenced. So due to that clickers, kind of dropped a leg off, apparently, with the shotgun. The shotgun is really, really powerful, by the way. It does pack quite a punch, but you need to get them as close as possible for maximum damage, which might be very, very dangerous in the case of clickers and the like. So we checked out the bar. Let's go check out the other building before we then head towards the barricade over there. There might be more enemies over here, although this is glass. So we would have seen them already. Seems to be quiet for now, but we get a mark of the scars again here. Which is, yeah, usually not a good sign. We're gonna see some gruesome sights then. Um, but there is more scissors and adhesive over here, so I could technically make more arrows if I wanted to. Although I think it's a little bit weird that you don't you don't actually use uh, wood in making arrows. So let's feel her love. Write that down. Yeah, it's it's a it's a bit weird, isn't it? So, the scars, definitely going to be introduced to them right now. Who the fuck are these people? Why did they do this? So, Jesse's here. This is good. He can help protect Dina. It felt good having him around to deal with the WLF. Maybe he can help us find these people more quickly. I don't want to hear anything about turning back. Okay. So, that's another update over here. Ooh. There's actually a ladder here. A ladder upwards. Let's take a look over there. I don't actually know if infected can climb ladders. They can climb objects, but I don't know if they can actually just climb a ladder or not. Uh, seems like we can even access the second floor of this building like that. Uh, and remember, I need to sprint and jump, so... There we go. Might be infected locked up over here, but... Hmm. Oh. Uh, a rope? What? What? Why would I need a rope? Damn it. There's some good stuff in there. Aha, uh -huh. so I can attach this. Can I attach that to, to the door? I can also maybe toss that out there? I'm not entirely sure. This seems like a an environmental puzzle. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So I think... So I opened this up. There's a bottle and a brick over here. So if I can break the windows over here, so kind of like, like doing this. Oh, that, that's a bit too far, but I can break this as well. And then I can grab another bottle and break that final window. And I think with that... There we go. So now, if I grab the rope, so like this, that, that's not, that's not ideal, is it? I mean, kind of. It's, it's kind of this, no? I mean, now I can, I can grab this and then climb up. And then swing towards the edge there, and uh, like this. Oh, I'm not. I'm probably not high enough. That's silly. But there we go. Swing back and forth. 
And hit. There we go. Okay. Right. What do we got? That's the load of crafting parts. Alcohol, open up the door. There we go. That was that was a nice puzzle. That was a nice little puzzle. Uh, let's grab the card. And that is shift. What is shift? Okay, shift is that. And she is affiliated with the Society of Champions. It's uh, another another nice card for our collection. Get a few more bullets. And we got... Ooh, somebody was trying to survive around here, clearly. And our alcohol is full, but I have nothing to use at all. Yeah, I have absolutely nothing to use at all. So I can't even grab this half batch of alcohol. That's sad, but at least we can grab the scraps and a note. Should tell us who was hiding over here. Simon, I hope you never read this note. I hope I can crumple it up, burn it when you return for us. It's been... I don't even know how many hours since you left. I went out to look for you and these hooded people spotted me. They shouted at me, called me a sinner, then started shooting. I ran back in and barricaded the door. All I can hear is the rain, but I'm worried they're still out there. Should I run? Should I stay? I feel completely paralyzed. I'm sorry I got so sick. I'm sorry I let you go to the hospital by yourself. I'm sorry I didn't stay hidden like you told me. If anything happens to me, I want you to know how much I love you. Please come back. I'm so scared. Paige. Man. Yeah. So Simon and Paige were hiding out here. And uh, Simon went out. So, so Paige got sick. And Simon went out to get medicine. And he probably died along the way, I suppose. Knowing this game. He probably just, just died. So that's all good. And there we go. And there we go. Yeah. Area completed, I suppose. That's why she said that. Um, with that done, I'm actually going to take a little break before we head into scar-infested territory. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And uh, as I said, as we when we come back, we're going to go and check out the area occupied by the scars, most likely. So thanks enormously for watching. And see you in the next episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye. <laughs>